Hi, this is Deborah, and I am so excited today because I found something that would help a lot of people. Um, first of all, um, you know, we get so many things about coffee. Is it good for us? Is it bad for us? What we need to uh, really know about coffee, um, it, actually, it's staggering. Um, but anyway, a lot of times they'll say, well, it's the antioxidants in the coffee. However, you only need a very small amount, maybe half a cup, to get their antioxidants. But the thing is what it does long term uh, when you drink coffee. And it could be um, you could have insomnia where you're not sleeping well. You could have problems with leaky gut. Um, you could have stomach ulcers. You could have um, decreased bone densities, um, which is really, uh, that's really devastating. Um, irritable bowel. Um, it could be, um, you could have more increased muscle tension, anxiety. Um, and uh, overall, you, you know, you get this high in the morning because you wake up and you say, oh, I need my coffee. You get this high and then all of a sudden in the afternoon you crash, you know, with your uh, your chin on the pavement. Okay, so um, I am going to give you some um, things that you could probably do, okay? One, if you decide to quit, drink lots of water. I know because I quit and uh, it... It takes about seven days for you to start feeling um, like yourself, okay? But the first day is agonizing with migraines and uh, just, I, I slept for 16 hours, okay? But um, the thing is, what you want to do is drink lots of water. You want to make sure you have, you're eating well. Do a walk or a jog or whatever you your exercise uh, entails, okay? Um, make sure that if you really, really, really have to um, have ibuprofen, you know, take as the bottle describes, but I really, um, I didn't do that, but I did sleep. I slept, the first day I slept 16 hours, so which might not be good for you. So anyway, that's it. Another thing you might try is because they talk about antioxidants, you want to find some an alternative to getting your antioxidants, and that could be uh, green juice. And I, I usually make mine. And I use coconut milk. I use um, kale. I use spinach. And... Um, so, and I even put turmeric in it. So that gives it a nice, nice antioxidant feel to it, okay? But I also found an alternative to coffee, and it's called, uh, Coffic. It's C-O-F-F-I-G. Check it out. Um, and I will give you a link on my uh, A Weber page, and um, and I'm gonna put it in my um, leaky gut page, and then I'm gonna put the link there too, so you'll have many places to find it. Okay, um, it it the core fig is um, gluten free, acid free, and I don't know how it tastes. But I, I thought it was a great alternative, okay? So you, I'm going to let you do that homework, okay? Um, anyway, you take care and have a great evening. Bye-bye.